Good evening and welcome to another episode of Talkland Bill. Our first guest this evening is an artist who will be making work at this year's B-Side Festival. Please give a warm round of applause to Katie Surridge. Hi Katie. How are you doing? How have you been? I've just moved into my new art studio actually and first job in the workshop I crushed my thumb so I had a bit of a panic about the B-Side commission because I was in a cast for about two months. So this isn't going to affect your commission for the B-Side Festival 2021? No, no, I don't think so. So I'm happy to say that um, all four sculptures have been completed. That's amazing. So do tell us a little bit more about your work. The brief was common lands. So initially I started thinking about the kind of history of Portland as a mining community, which kind of led me on to thinking about digging, which I looked at in my practice quite a lot. And obviously, as my training is in blacksmithing and metalworking, I've always had a, a passion for looking at old tools. And the more I look at them, I see these kind of quite sculptural qualities in these old kind of farm machinery. So the project kind of evolved into the idea of making these sculptures, which you can also dig with. And they are multi-person operated. So together with about six people, you lift them and you dig or you drill or you break up the soil and I like this idea of the community which this forms when using them. Amazing so you're going to be looking for people in Portland to help you dig with these oversized tools that you've made. Yeah exactly so we'll, we'll be working in, in little teams um, and it'll almost become like a performance but I think what, what I'm also interested in is, is you know the failure of them because they're obviously oversized uh, and they're going to be quite clumsy to use and the people aren't going to know each other. So I think there's going to be these kind of quite funny, awkward moments where people are, you know, trying to get in rhythm or trying to come together as one, but also uh, struggling a little bit. Uh, so, so I think that the visuals of them being used will be quite beautiful as well. It sounds fabulous. How big exactly are these tools? Um, I think the biggest one is about four meters long. Four wow. Meters, yeah. And that has over 10 or 15 handles on it. So lots of people could use this one. That's the biggest one, which is actually for doing the most tiny job of all, which is uh, making a tiny little hole in the earth to put a tiny seed in. You'll be digging, you'll be excavating, you'll be planting. Yeah, we're going to be at the uh, Portland for the Planet community allotment, which is where I'm going to be working. You can just turn up on the day uh, and, and see the, the scheduled times of when the tools are going to be operating. No prior digging experience necessary? No prior digging experience necessary, no. I mean, I'd say you need a, you need a bit of a... Uh, acceptance that you might fail. <laughs> I think that's always a good thing to accept in life. So there'll be a legacy, we'll be able to come back in years to come and something will have grown from the fruits of your collective labour. What do you think of that, Jackie? I really dig that. <laughs> Very concise. That's Jackie, our sidekick. I'm launching a project soon to remove all the Portland stone from buildings in London and return it to the quarries of Portland. Wow. It's an ambitious task. <laughs> Please do give Katie a huge round of applause. <laughs> Katie Sarage, everybody. You can find out much more about Katie's project, Digging Devices, at the B-Side Festival website. That's all we've got time for this week, but we'll be back again soon with more Talkland Bill! Wonderful audience, thank you so much. <laughs>